boom today on the pmp success secrets with scott podcast it is results day every week we go through and tell you how we did in the past week so how'd we do this week well let me look at my results last week we had seven people take the exam and guess what seven people passed Good job. I'm going to give a shout out to every single one of you. And right now, overall on the new 2021 PMP exam, our results are 58 successes for 59 students. That is a 98.31% pass rate. We're super proper proud of that, but we're not resting on our laurels. We are grinding up, getting better every single day. Our new site launches on Sunday. How about that? It's going to be fancy it's going to be awesome we got well bells and whistles man we have busted we put a lot of stuff into this thing to really really help you out you're going to love it all right so i'll let you know all the details just want to let you know that we got something super fancy coming out so who were these people that passed next last week I want to give a shout out first of all to jackie burr way to go jackie all right and then we got rosalie mcgee we got will bible we got michael hughes William Gibbons, Zayda Portez, and Stanley Holmes. You guys all nailed it. You're all in the seven-day accelerator. You all took your own little bit of time. You all work with your coaches. You ground down, and you're all, you know, exceptional in how you solve questions. So at the end of the day, for the people who are out there who say, how can we get these results? How can we be like Jackie or William or Stanley? The biggest thing that I need you to know right now is you've got to approach PMP like you do regular life. You look at regular life through a logical lens. You try to make pat, you know, try to identify patterns, and you try to solve problems in a pragmatic, honest, like long-term thinking way. No difference in the PMP world. No difference. There is no PMI answer. It is just core good blocking and tackling, if you will, project management processes. So stop memorizing, stop doing a data dump, stop any of this jargon, these tricks, these blah, blah, blahs, take a bajillion questions and hope you get better. No, go back to fundamentals, think about what we're trying to accomplish on a project and logically walk through it. If you can identify the problem, if you can identify where you are, you would put yourself in the situation and you'll be prepared to answer it. That's the magic sauce of everything we do. We take away all the superfluous information, the information that you don't need, that just crams up your brain, and we focus everybody, everybody on what matters. And that's understanding why, understanding the logic, and giving themselves the opportunity to solve these problems and have really caring, really engaged people, both the coaches and the support network and other students, all there to say, teach me what you know. Let me go back and forth with you. So you can do this on your own. Like you can go with us and we can guide you step by step, but there is zero excuse for following these terrible boot camp plans. Don't do it. If you want to do this alone, go with the way that I'm talking about. Logic. Follow through in your own mind. Ask yourself, what would I do? And get feedback. That's what you need to do. So yet again, congratulations on the seven this week. We're going to keep going. And the 98.31 real, real pass rate. So really, really proud of everybody. We're going to keep sharing our results every week. Rain, sleet, or snow. And uh, I will see you next week. And we'll keep cranking out really good lessons for you to follow every week. So enjoy it. Talk to you soon. If you want to talk to me, scott at pmmasterprep.com or call me 757-759-5282. Go to our website, the new fancy website, which launches on Sunday. Man, you're going to love it. Go in there. There's plenty of free stuff. We'll help you out. Let's go. Let's get on a plan. Let's go. We can do it. See you soon. Bye.